Okay, pre-calc PC. Um, this is a video designed to help you uh, find the median of a triangle PDF. And uh, I've chosen the hardest problem, I think, that you will have encountered. Just so uh, if you can do this one, you can do the easier ones, I think. This comes from number three on worksheet smoothing the histogram. And um, I'm just going to go through 3C only. Uh, that's the focus here. Okay, so um, I think the first job in this problem is to find the equation of the PDF. It's a piecewise function, so we need to find the equation of both of these uh, lines. So this first piece goes through the points 2, comma, 0 and 10, comma, 1 fourteenth. So the slope of it is equal to 1 14th minus 0 over 10 minus 2, which is 1 14th over 8, which is 1 over 112. And I like to use point slope form. So I'm going to say y minus 0 is equal to 1 over 112 times x minus 2. And I'm going to call that y equals 1 over 112 times x minus 2. Um, I chose 2 comma 0 instead of 10 over 114 or 10 comma 114 simply because 2 comma 0 was handy. No fractions. It also reveals that the line y equals 112 times x has just been shifted over two units to the right. Uh, that's an easy way of thinking about that. So that's the equation of uh, this piece here. The second piece over here goes through the points 10 comma 1 14th and 30 comma 0. The slope of that line is 0 minus 1 over 1 14th, sorry, 1 14th over uh, 30 minus 10, which is equal to negative 1 over 14 over 20, which is equal to negative 1 over 280. So the equation of this line is y minus 0 equals negative 1 over 280 times x minus 30. And again, in, uh, that simplifies down to negative 1 over 280 times x minus 30. I'm going to leave it like that because, again, it shows me that the line is uh, negative 1 over over 280x has been shifted over to the right 30 units. Okay, so now we have the two equations of the, now we're going to combine them into the, the PDF in piecewise form is f of x equals, we have uh, 1 over 112 times x minus 2 for uh, 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 10, I think. Right? From 2 to 10, we use that line. That's right. And for this one, neg negative 200, uh, 1 over 280 times x minus 30 for 10 is less than x is less than or equal to 30. Okay. That's our PDF. Uh, I suppose there's two more parts of it. Uh, f of x equals 0 from negative infinity to 2 and f of x equals 0 from 30 to infinity, but those are kind of uh, ne negligible parts. Okay, so the question is, what is the area underneath, sorry, the area underneath the PDF is 1. That's a fact we need to remember. So the total area of that triangle is 1. I'm looking for the median, which means I'm looking for the x-coordinate that makes the area equal to 1 half. And if I know I pick, if I start with x equals 10, I can see that the right half is going to be larger than the left half. So I can tell that my median is going to be somewhere, I'm just going to eyeball it. doesn't really matter where I draw this line. It's arbitrary as long as it's to the right of that peak. I'm just going to label that, sorry, label that point right there 
have x coordinate m so that the area of this goofy trapezoid over here is or goofy quadrilateral over here is, is one half and the area of this triangle is one half. Let's hone in on the fact that I want this the area of this triangle to equal one half. Okay? Uh, and the, the thrust of the argument here is that that area of the triangle is one half so I know that one half has to equal one half times base times height. This is my base, which I'm going to label as 30 minus m. Think about that for a minute. If the distance from 0 to m is m, and the distance from 0 to 30 is 30, imagine having a ribbon length 30 and a ribbon length m, 30 minus m represents the distance here. This right here is the height, okay? And I'm going to use the equation of the line that comes down here to find that value of that height in terms of m. I'm going to show you in a minute. But the idea is that if I plug the x-coordinate m into the equation of this line, I'll get the y-coordinate of that point up here which happens to be the height of the triangle. So um, what I'm saying here is that this point here has coordinates m comma h. And I can find out h by plugging m into the equation of the line. All right, so let's do that. So 1 half has to equal 1 half base times height. So we have 1 half the base, 30 minus m. The height, well, the height is the value of the this line here when x equals m. Negative 1 over 280 times m minus 30. So again, in, in the picture, there's a point here that has the coordinates m comma negative 1 over 280 m minus 30. And that value m is the median. Whatever it is, that's, that is a true fact about that triangle. Okay. So if I put 1 half over here, I can begin simplifying this expression. And now that I've got everything in terms of m, I should be able to find the value of m. So uh, let's just say that 1 is equal to 30 minus m times negative 1 over 280 times m minus 30. Uh, let's um, clean this up a little bit. How about I multiply both sides by uh, negative 280. So negative 280 is equal to 30 minus m times m minus 30. Okay, so if you look at 30 minus m and m minus 30, you need to recognize that those numbers are opposites. So if you think about 8 minus 5 and 5 minus 8, 100 minus 97, 97 minus 100. 6 minus 12, 12 minus 6. Anytime you commute subtraction that way, you're going to create opposites. So what I can do is express 30 minus m as m minus 30, and then take the opposite of 280. So if I take the opposite of both sides, I essentially get 280 is equal to m minus 30 times m minus 30. Uh, so 280 is equal to m minus 30 squared. That's nice. I can write this as plus or minus the square root of 280 equals m minus 30. The plus or minus is essential. Uh, you don't know 
which square root you want. Do you want the positive square root of 280 or do you want the negative square root of 280? Uh, in this particular problem, you'll see that uh, it becomes very important that plus or minus. So right now I know that m is equal to 30 plus or minus the square root of 280. And I want you to look carefully at the picture. Do you think to get from 30 to m, do I add the square root of 280 or do I subtract the square root of 280? It's clear from the picture that the one that we want is 30 minus the square root of 280. So we want m equals 30 minus the square root of 280. I mean, imagine adding something to 30. You'd be telling, your, you'd be telling me that your median is like over here somewhere. So I want to subtract something from 30 to get the median. And if I type this into my calculator, I get approximately 13.267. So I'll go back up here, and I'll check that against my eyeball. Pretty good. 13.267 is the value of that median. Remember that the median divides the area of the of the probability density uh, function in half. And because this particular um, function has is a probability density function, therefore the area of the triangle is 1. And so we have 1 half on this side, 1 half on that side. And that's how I got this equation to start, up, start me off. OK, so a couple of, just review the, the algebraic manipulations I did here. Um, one critical thing is to recognize that this this uh, negative 1 over 280 is one of three things being multiplied. doesn't matter what order you do them in. So I can multiply by 280, negative 280 over here on both sides and, and, and get this, this, this expression. And then secondly, when you multiply commuted subtractions, you're really, these numbers are opposites. So you can do the following manipulation by commuting a subtraction and take the opposite of the other side. And then finally, we want to make sure we choose the negative square root uh, because we want to go to the left of 30 to find the median. Okay, hope that's clear.